But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Uh, Ray, damn. She loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please Ouch. don't tell me how to run my school. He's definitely on the power trip for sure, jerk. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. No! Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Oh, uh, Victoria's gonna be. That is so. Such... What was that, Miss Price? She's Chloe gonna be is so upset excited. for her friend. But we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. Yeah, duly blamed for anything blame and everything. Around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Whatever, Principal. You have something to add first, Miss Price. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. Okay. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. The rest of the but year? It was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly, but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. Is it better to get suspended for the rest of the year or be expelled? I understand that you're a fucking- Chloe! We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. I love Come how on, they're Chloe. just leaving um, Rachel Amber behind. Damn, man, this is stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Great. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. They have nothing to say. They're like, okay. Great. What's the mom gonna say this mom, time? I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Oh, she's pissed. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. Wow, you have to do your job on your day off. I don't I really mean... care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Hold on, hold on. What's Trusty this? Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. I mean, I would've taken that Love too. every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's... Right, before saying how I'm wasting it all. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you, or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Mm. I mean, I'm not going to see that homework for a while, so I might as well just give up on it, you know? Let's trash that homework. Who cares? What else? Wonder who will grace this space after me. Sign the name as a token memory at this point. 
It's my last time being here for a hot ass minute. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. So take that book, Chloe. Or not. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I know you're upset. I'm upset too. It's crazy, but screw it. Rules are rules, you know? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> Imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Metal. So why not take it? Why are we trashing it? Come on, Chloe. Are we really trashing that? You really don't care at this point. You're very apathetic. Finally. What I actually came here for. You're cra- You're so crazy, Chloe. And he's not Jackpot. even looking either. Wait. What the hell? That still ass weed. Damn it, Justin. Chloe, hey yo, how to borrow your stash? Desperate times, you know? I promise I'll get you back next week, Justin. Oh, now she's weedless. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay, but try to make it fast, will you? I know, I know, it's your, it's your day off. I don't want to keep you here as long as possible. You know, God forbid you have to spend an hour more. But I feel him, you know. Yeah, let's tag this whole place. I mean, I'm gone for the rest of the year, so who cares? What are they going to do? Yep. Oh, she is tagging everything in that bathroom. Nice. What a beautiful way to start off this episode, I tell you. I mean, based off of my recordings, it's not really the start of the episode, but... Woman, take what? Wait, is this where she... Max, there would be consequences. Ah, oh, Chloe, she is writing everything. She's so crazy. I'm leaving. Rachel. Chloe is just writing everything and anything her mind can come up with. Wow, not the toilet. Okay, so what's what's she going to write here? So whenever she's upset, stressed, angry, she just draws instead. I mean, it's a better outlet than drugs, but at the same time, she definitely needs to... Ooh, Victoria's definitely gonna see it. Look at Victoria, she doesn't know what to do. Did you see the look on Victoria's face? Oh no, she's with her boyfriend now. Great. Oh, he's going to say something stupid and slick. Watch. And then Chloe's going to be all pissed off and then she's going to run away. Later, Skip. Later. Mm. Great. Looks like David's here. Wells blows, that meaning hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, we'll get revenge. Oh, 
we got our messages here. Again, Chloe, really? I am at my wit's end with you. Oh, she's pissed. Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? No, I don't care. Oh, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay, 2.02 a.m., Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Active Class D, wildfire, not contained. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Facility and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports extracurricular activities this weekend. Huh. That is so funny. Awesome. Another letter to Max. What the heck? So the whole time Max is over there, wherever she is, she's basically writing letters and letters to Max. Huh, I'm definitely going to have to read this sometime. I know that for sure. I'm going to delay as much as possible by looking at everything else. What's this? The future needs excellence. Because of a generous grant from the Prescott Foundation, Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Visual concepts, intro to composition, intro to ceramics, intermediate Photoshop, intro to character modeling and animation, photography, independent study. Wow. You know something? You notice how one of the classes is photography on it? Max is definitely going to be in that class. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Damn, Chloe. Just like that, right? Wait, wait. What's, what's this? I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. High alert! Due to a forest fire in the area, Orchidia Bay is on high fire safety alert. Know your role. Respond to fire alarms immediately and in orderly fashion. Review your emergency exit locations in school and at home. Discuss emergency protocol with your parents or guardians. Do your part to help keep Orchidia Bay safe. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy yeah. shit. I know. I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you Wha want a hug? No, not Let's from you. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Do you anyway, have some beef against what are you Rachel? Doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? I just saw it. Sorry, Elliot, but I'm probably going to hang out with Rachel. She might be pretty bummed about missing the show. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. I Later. I have my suspicions, but I don't think he really cares at the fact that Chloe's not going to hang out with him anymore. You see how fast he grabbed his phone to text? My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> Chloe, don't start because you're so lame, too, with your cliché stuff. I can't do anything here, right? Am I not able to... 
Wait, what's this? Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. All right, I I At least prolonged I'll have enough. Uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. All right, I'm ready. We gotta face the music, so. It's about damn time. David, please. Mm. Oh, he's pissed. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Damn. Or how to be a soldier? Damn. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Mm, okay. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. Okay. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. Incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. Great. Great. But that look with again. An apology. I'm willing to start over. Uh, I mean, you know what? Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. Don't From mess it up, on, David. I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Chloe, it's for your own good, hon. It's for the alcohol and drugs part, yes. You're too young Mom. to be doing that anyways. Don't Chloe, mom her. I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Just do it, Chloe. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? There you go. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? 
Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Uh, no, the hell you're not. You're not moving into my home no with my mom. Way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. You need help with what? I need a firmer hand steering we? the ship. Who's Talk we? To me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You really want to know how I'm feeling? Because David's just a boyfriend. He's not a dad. Why is he trying to... Mm. You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. You're asking her how she's feeling, and she's telling you how she's a feeling, and years, you... years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. But it's you're... about the three of us having a home together. He... It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. I am feeling some type of way. Like, is the mom that lonely that she's gonna have some man just move in? Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum. David! Is over. You're just a boyfriend. Why are you trying to act like... Dude, he's literally just a boyfriend. Why is he trying to act like her dad? That's what really aggravates me. And then he's going to move know in. Which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Just so he can take over the house as if that was his from the beginning? No, that's William's house. Yeah, he passed away, but at the end of the day, David is just simply a boy toy for Joyce who's very lonely, very vulnerable, and needs comfort. And I don't care what she says, she's low-key choosing him over Chloe. Because she's asking her how she feels, and when she does tell her how she feels, Black she basically ignores it. I can't go home anymore. Chloe, you definitely need to find a place, but this, homelessness this is not- This junkyard, all I've got left. Homelessness is not the answer. Go back. Stay there for a little bit, find a job, find f some cash, move out. That's it. That's all you gotta do. But you still need a home nonetheless. What is she banging on now? See, I can understand why Chloe acted the way she did in part one. Because of this thing with David. Crazy. Wait a minute, is that her vehicle? Oh, dude, that's a nice car. You should totally take it for a spin. It looks pretty usable, Ugh. honestly. Battery definitely needs a replacement, but... Yeah, that definitely needs a replacement. That shit does not work. You see how corroded that thing is? This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If... Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. 
I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets and then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. What? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Huh. That's rich coming from you, mom. Maybe she needs her mom back. What? If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. She says I need my daughter. <laughs> well, she needs her mom back. She needs her mom back. How about that? Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Yeah, that's, uh, that's relationships for you. That is relationships for you. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Probably not. Probably not. Don't tell me what to do. Because in part one, you end up having that car anyway. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. I understand how you feel, Chloe. I would have reacted the same way, because that rubbed me the wrong way. No, that this battery is horrible. Work. That is corroded as well. What about... A welcome mat? This mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. Corny joke. Corny. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Damn, Chloe, I'm sorry, hon. I, I, I don't know what to say myself. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. This vehicle has been seized and impounded in execution of a warrant order. This vehicle is wait, distrained and impounded in accordance with the authority provided by Rule 42 of the Oregon Magistrate's Court Rules and Persuasions of Section 2-1 of the Narcotics Damage Act of 1985. It is an offense to, without lawful excuse, destroy, damage, or tamper with this property. Right. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? You know what? Let's give it a chance. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? There should be a lever. A lever, sorry. Just click that, that button right there. The latch. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? I, what, I meant to press the latch, and I guess I pressed the wrong section. Come on, Chloe. The latch is right there. Get it. There you go. Where is it? In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. And it looks nice, so let's take it, grab it. Do you have the tools for that? It looks like it's really latched in there. Oh, she got it. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Nice. Cool, we actually got a new battery. Oh, this is going to be nice. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Someone comes here to do some drugs. Crazy. You're a long way from the beach. Clearly someone was here too, just drying themselves off. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.